big, big, get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing a little follow-up video. And just giving you guys a little bit warning, I am taking a little bit of a break throughout the week. However, I will still have videos going up throughout this week. It's just once in a while and you take a break from this YouTube space and everything that's going on and just recharge the batteries, enjoy the collection and uh, take care of family stuff. You know what I mean? We have some family things going on right now and it's just a good time to take a little bit of a break, but I'll be back at it soon enough. You may not even really notice, but anyway. I forgot to show off this figure next to this one right here, which really upset me because I don't like this figure that much and I have kept it this whole time so I could compare it to the next lizard figure that I got and I forgot to include it in the review. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on right now, you guys, so that's how mistakes like that happen. It's not out of laziness, it's out of busyness, so if that's a word. I wanted to just mention, I like and I dislike when Hasbro like uses reference images from Google search. Uh, just really quick, uh, if you take these away, you leave this guy right here, you can see a picture right over here and it is a clear inspiration for this figure. Like it looks just like it. Even the placement of the scales on this guy and everything and the way the hands are sculpted, the way the feet look, everything about it looks like the image right over here except for the freaking head. They went extra dinosaur with the head compared to that one. And then it made me think, wow, that would have been the perfect lizard figure for me. So I do like the extra large lizard. I also like the regular sized G1 lizard too. Like I like both, but I prefer a lizard about this size right here, you know, more so than this size. But I think this figure is still really cool. I still love this figure. I think it's a great G1 lizard figure. And just to put the head back on, getting this head back on here, uh, you can see they clearly used this image for this lizard. It's like, the, and you know what? That other image, I think that was like the second uh, Google search image and this is like the third or something like that like if you just type in Marvel lizard like you'll see like I don't know either one of those pictures come up first and then a movie version and then one of these it's just so directly taken from you know what you would see from uh, one of the first images that come up from a Google search I also love this old school toy biz figure right over here I really do but the articulation is just sorely outdated. Like there's a lot of head movement here that I can't utilize. I love the jaw articulation. I wish one of these heads had jaw articulation. That would have been pretty sweet, but there's no torso articulation aside from the waist cut. This one has all the articulation goodness. And you'd have thought that this one did too, but no, it, it doesn't. Uh, you can't move the torso around nearly as, even though there's an ab crunch in there, the way they sculpted this cloak, the cloak, I mean the lab coat, uh, you just can't straighten out the figure's back ever. Like this is just always getting in the way. It's contoured too tightly to his back. So that frustrates me. And the tail articulation on this thing is atrocious. Like that is just really bad. Uh, the tail on this one, is not as bad, but this one definitely has the best tail by far between these three Marvel Legends lizard figures. I still love the paint apps on this one the most, though. This has just got that grimy look to it, and it does stand out. So, uh, it, it, I mean, it stands out as far as it not looking like it fits in with Hasbro Legends that much because it has so much going on which I love, but yeah, I mean, reality is, is that it doesn't fit in with the Hasbro stuff as well. The paint apps on this one do. Like, I really like the paint apps on this figure a lot, like, especially on the coat. It doesn't seem like there's a lot going on with the scales, though, so that's one reason I really like this one. So I just wanted to talk about the things that I like and dislike, you know, but I wanted to ask myself, like, Russ, what would be your favorite lizard? Like, what perfect lizard figure would I have made if I had an opportunity to do so? What design would I have gone with? And I would have gone with this one right here. Now this figure I don't have anymore. I used to have it. I sold it a long time ago. But to me, that's like the ideal design for Lizard. For me, anyway. As you guys may have heard me say in my review of the 60 Amazing Years Lizard, that Todd McFarlane's Lizard was like my first comic Lizard that I really read about and I feel like this one does have more of that Todd McFarlane look. I never was a big fan of Lizard having straight up fangs, you know what I mean? I do prefer a little bit more reptilian kind of looking teeth, but 
overall, that design choice right there for that old school figure is what I would like to have. Now, the articulation on that figure is atrocious. There's two versions. There's a blue pants version and a purple pants version that came with a bunch of extra stuff. And yeah, the purple pants version does look better. Uh, however, I don't want to have either of those because I don't like the articulation. It's just the design that I would have preferred to have seen, you know? And also, there's a couple other lizard figures that I didn't talk about. I'm not here to talk about every single lizard figure. I just wanted to talk about what I thought would be the best lizard. And I think as far as what we have right now available for Marvel Legends, these are the three best lizard figures. The number one, though, for me, I, I really think, like, if you're to go out there and you're, like, got, like, 100 bucks... And I want to spend some money on a lizard. You know what I mean? So, hey, congratulations on your 100 bucks. We could all use a little extra 100 bucks right now, right? Right? I'm sure you can. Uh, but I would go with this one. I think this is the one that you're going to be happiest with. Uh, some people say it may be too small. I mean, again, compared to what's been my favorite toy biz, or my favorite lizard anyway, it's about the same height as this guy. So uh, the height doesn't really bother me too much. You're going to have an extremely accurate Ditko Lizard, which is awesome. Like, having a, an accurate Ditko anything, I think, is great to have in the collection. So, uh, you can't go wrong with this figure right here. This one's going to disappoint you, especially with that tail. This one's going to disappoint you with the ab articulation or lack thereof and the fragility of it, and the fact that you can't make his head look up, I really feel like this is the number one lizard figure to get. You know, even though he doesn't have the claws, I wish he had claws, wish I could pop the claws off of this one and give it to him. But still, even with those complaints, I think that's the number one lizard figure. Anyway, forgive me, guys. I apologize again for forgetting uh, this guy uh, or forgetting him in the review. I really meant to do that. Shout out to Savas. He wanted a shout out. I don't usually do that, but um, there you go. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I'll have some other videos coming up this week. Uh, I have an unboxing video and I have a big time letdown compilation and you may see a review. Wish you all well and hope you have fun collecting and I will catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.